my loves, taking you on yet another sunset drive in the Red Rock Canyon. So these are beautiful canyons. Um, as I've mentioned before, there's kind of a stoic beauty here. So I thought I'm going to pull off here in a minute and just give you a quick panoramic of it and uh, see what you think. On my way there though, let me tell you a little bit about well, I'll talk a little bit about AI. I have some experience there. And in fact, there's a presentation that I gave to the AI community at Microsoft. This is probably a year or two ago, a couple years ago, uh, which I don't know, maybe some of you know this already. I, I trained some of the neural network, yeah, models, algorithms to see placement in classical dance. And I presented it. So that presentation is up on the app, by the way, so you can go look at that. But let me tell you why the difference between a human being and the AI, because AI is in the news, it's everywhere, I think people worry about it. Surely there are some concerns, but let me just give you the difference, and, and I think you'll, you'll enjoy this a little bit. To train an AI, for an AI to learn, and this would be a language model, which is the most famous stuff right now, it's in the news, which is the chat GPT and these uh, large language models that you interact with. Uh, what I did was visual, it was a visual model, so the, the algorithm identified, uh, well, the images and video. So for an algorithm to learn something pretty basic, it has to have a ton of data, a ton of data. You have to show it, in, in terms of image, many, many thousands, tens of thousands of images for the algorithm to start really working accurately, and then you have to fine tune, and there's a lot that goes into that. Whereas the human mind, you only have to show a little bit of information, like a starting point, because we have intuition. We have intuition. And our intuition and our creativity, and this comes, intuition is basically feelings, right? We have a feeling about something. There's, I mean, we're of nature, we're from nature, and therefore we tend to be able to connect dots without having necessarily all the information. We really don't need that. I mean, all. I mean, look at all the discoveries we, we've made. Just starting with some, you know, maybe basic, very, very basic information, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn around. Well, yeah, I'll turn around real quick. Let me just show you the canyon. But anyway, that's so. That's the difference between how the human mind works, the sort of really genius of the human mind, and the power and the role that our emotions have in our learning. So we learn with our emotions as well, of course, and we call it intuition. And intuition is essentially, you, you start, I give you one or two dots and you can give me the next 10. So AI cannot do that. AI requires a lot of information. So for example, the large language models that we hear so much about, you know, they have access to the entirety of human knowledge on the internet and they need that in order to be able to interact with us in the way that they do now they're impressive i'm not saying it's not really impressive work just like tesla's as self-driving and these kinds so it's really impressive technology but it requires tremendous amount of information for these models to start understanding things and how to interpret versus a human being we we start with a little bit and we can connect the dots and that's through our intuition and that's through our feelings so understanding how we learn is a really incredible, it's, it's, a, it's a revelation of sorts. And that's one of the things you're gonna understand by interacting with, with our app, uh, which is learning directly from me. Of course, we don't use AI in the app, it's just human to human. But these, this is something that I think is gonna become clear and very valuable to you, is learning how you learn, how human beings learn. And of course, you know, I'm gonna give you all the knowledge you would ever need, but your intuition is gonna do some interesting things, and um, I can't wait to um, to see how this impacts your life. So anyway, let me show you the canyon real quick. I'm gonna jump out. Let's hold tight here. Okay, beep, beep, beep. All right. If you ever wanted to see up my nose, now's your chance. All right, so little bit dark clouds which is awesome when you live in the desert overcast and rain clouds are your are your friend let me try to get my big head out of the way here so you can see wait a minute i have to change settings real quick okay i had to change settings so you can see the canyon clearly 
So I'll just give you a quick panoramic. That side of the road is not so great, but anyway, the canyons are pretty awesome. And the sun has just gone down. Cactus. And like I said before, car. Like I said before, um, there are wild horses and wild donkeys here. So let's, I don't, obviously they, they come out at night because we're uh, here in their territory. So anyway, Red Rock Canyon. A lot of rock climbers come here. But I thought I'd just give you a quick look. And it goes on for a long, long ways. Okay. Talk to you soon, loves.